sum me up in a sentence. Yeah, I've been a professional cricketer for five years now with the Heat for three years. Always looking for a good time and then they're looking to have fun. <laughs> So my parents live in Mermaid Beach and I was fortunate enough to grow up on the Gold Coast. A lot of surfing, a lot of just hanging out at the beach. Away from cricket, I studied part-time at Bond University, a Bachelor of Property there. Every time I'm doing an exam or an assignment, I'm just thinking oh, I'd rather be playing cricket or going for a surf. If I have time off, I look to try and just hang out with friends, hang out with family, come down to the Gold Coast as much as I can. Life as a Brisbane Heat player is awesome. It is the, one of the greatest clubs out there. We have a great fan following and it's just, it's awesome. Oh, it's exciting. Once you hop on the field, there's like, it's, it's sort of like trying to like block all the noise out. So, but as soon as that wicket goes, the crowd just goes crazy and it's, yeah, it's such an exciting feeling. First surfed probably when I was 10 years old. I got better when I was probably 14 and I haven't got better ever since. I've had the same ability for the last 10 years. Dad bought me like a little foam board and then just from there just, I just loved it. Would always go out probably morning and afternoons and then from there saved up a bit of money, bought a little board from cash inverters and then just kept going ever since. The perfect barrel of mermaid. There's probably a day after the cyclone hits. So it gets the big points like Burley and Snapper Rocks and then get on a wave and hopefully it's the wave of your life. Any barrel in the world, probably Uluwatu in Bali. I've been lucky enough to go there a couple of times and witness the wave, but I'm still yet to get the perfect wave there. In the off season, I try and go for a couple of runs or a few runs a week. Probably the main reason I run is to try and beat Manus in the in the 2K time trial, which is in pre-season. So Manus buys himself, he gets the, the new like illegal Nike running shoes. And so, and I rock up, I got some beaten up shoes. And every year's the same, man. I always beat him by one second. So no, he'll eventually, he'll eventually beat me one day. Yeah, Big Bass down is awesome. There's a there's a real big sporting vibe down to the Gold Coast. Yeah, it's just great, especially around Christmas time for the Big Bash. You get all these people coming in from different cities and it's just a really excellent vibe around the Gold Coast. Well, I think we have such a good like, core group of players at the Heat, so I think a goal is definitely winning a, a Big Bash like, title and just and taking that, just exciting to see how the team grows. I think there's a few young guys in the team still who, can, who are really like exciting. And personally, I just want to play as many games as I can I love bowling the Gabba, it's a great, great place to play cricket as well. I think every cricketer in Australia wants to play for Australia, so that's like the ultimate goal and, and then just get the best out of myself and play and win as many games for the Heat and for the Bulls as possible. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota.